All right, William, let me see if I can explain this real quick for you. I'm going to build my own scene. All right. <laughs> Sorry if you hear my daughter or my wife in the background. So first thing I'm going to do is just add something in the background here. Uh, just because it'll look better. So as an example, I'm going to use something from Twitter since we're going to do the social overlay. So I'll just pick this one. Just use the full video. I'm going to get rid of the logo because we don't need it for what we're going to do. I'm going to get rid of this text because we don't need that as well. All right, so we just have the video there. Now we're going to go to our elements. So the first one is the social. What this does is it allows you to take a social post, like a post on Facebook or a, an actual tweet on Twitter, such as this right here. This is a tweet on Twitter. Okay, so I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to come back to NVIDIA. And I'm going to paste that link right here, and then I'm going to press Enter. you got to press Enter. And it says, what do you want to do with it? Now, honestly, I've had a hard time getting it to add it as a new scene, but it works fine as an overlay. So if I press Overlay, It'll go grab the post. And basically make it an, like an overlay element that you can move around and do stuff with. All right, so there it is. It actually imported the post. Now you can move it around. You have your normal stuff. You can crop it. Maybe you don't want certain things to show. Um, maybe you don't want the black border on it. You can just crop that out. Uh, just just for the fun of it, let's go ahead and do that just to show you. So I'm going to tell it to no aspect ratio so that I can make these go wherever I want. So I'm just going to pull them in where we're not getting the black border. You don't have to do this. This is just if you want to. Just showing you that you can. So depending on the kind of background you want to put it on, you can take off that black border or leave it. Um, I love how easy they let you do this stuff. Um, you've got all the normal options as far as the resizing. You can do filters, and you can animate it just like normal. So it's fading in right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right here. I'm going to make it bigger. There. Okay, and then the other thing, yeah. So that's the social. You just need to get the link to the post. The key is getting the right link. It can be hard to find or figure out sometimes. Um, and once in a while with the Facebook ones, it doesn't seem to, to give it the right exact size, so I have to do more cropping. But it's still cool that they give you the option in it, and it does work. I haven't done an Instagram one yet. I'll probably try that next time. Uh, but let's go down here to overlays. So overlays are basically the same thing. First of all, everything you see in here except for layouts, and even that in a way can be considered that, but everything else is an overlay, something that goes over the top of your video that you're making. So these stickers are the same thing. Any of these stickers, these are just little overlay stickers. A lot of them happen to animate and stuff like that, but they're still just a little thing that over goes over the top of the rest of your stuff. Uh, so the overlays down here are no different. They're just kind of cooler. Uh, so as an example, uh, if we go into entertainment, uh, let's do this yellow one. So basically, you can see the animation if you hold your mouse there. So this one does all these flashes. I like this one with the yellow, I don't know, dots, liquidy stuff going up and down. So I'm just going to click on it once, and it's going to add that overlay to my video. I have a couple options here as far as animation and the opacity of the overlay. I'm going to leave it up pretty high because it already has built-in opacity. So, All right, now let's take a look and see how this looks. So we'll just do a quick preview. So now you can see I have the video in the background. I've got the social overlay right here. And then I've got the regular video overlay on top of both of them right here. So they're just different types of overlays that you can use. Um, something to keep in mind that I've figured out that's really cool, actually, is when you think of an overlay, you think of the whole video. But they give you the ability to go ahead and resize and do move around the overlays. So I can actually resize and move this overlay and have it, maybe I only want it of a, of a certain part, maybe I don't want it over the the post. So I can do something like this, maybe move this more centered here. 
and you can see that the overlay is only on that part. So it's kind of cool that you can, can do that. What I wish we could do, and I, I don't think is possible, but I'll show you right now to make sure. What I wish we could do is keep this as an element like this, but go ahead and add another overlay in this video and keep them as two separate ones. But if I were to go back here and say, okay, now I want to add, I'm not sure what's in here. Yeah, let's do something else. Let's do some fireworks. So if I click on that, it changes the one overlay we already have to the fireworks. Okay, so not not quite what I like. I wish we could have more than one, but I'm pretty excited about how it is now, and I bet you we'll be able to have more than one in the future. So now you can see that overlay. You can see the fireworks there. If you watch, it's going to do it again and again. Um, I don't think... Let me check. No, we don't have the option. On a lot of the stuff, you have the option to have it only play once, but on the overlays, you don't. And it kind of makes sense. Most of the time, the overlay is continuously going the whole time. Um, but hopefully that helps. So you've got your social posts that you can add to your videos, and then you've got your overlays. And then, like I said, the, the stickers are the same thing. I'll just pick one real quick. So now I have this overlay as well. Uh, it's a sticker, but it's basically the same thing. They're, they're all overlaying over your video. Uh, you can resize it. You've got your options over here. Here's what I was telling you about. A lot of them, when they're animated GIFs and stuff like that, you can turn the loop on or off so it only does the animation once. So if I preview this now, the fireworks will keep going, but the thumbprint or the fingerprint will only do it once. And then it stops. If I undo this, it'll just keep going the whole time until the video gets to its duration or it changes scenes. Alright, I hope that helps. If there's anything else I can do, let me know. I'd be happy to help. Have a great day.